We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy Big Squiggums. We're back with more Operencia, the Stolen Sun. And we're about to... I would say take flight. That doesn't really make any sense. Uh, we're about to wander around and get into potential trouble and stuff. And it's going to be glorious and or terrifying. Or maybe a little bit of both. Who can say? Uh, spooky sounds over to our left. There's a treasure chest over here. Which, uh... There, I you see. Cool. A key and some other goods as well. We should equip those. Oh, yeah. Open the game menu to equip your characters and to set their skills. P for party. It's Druidwin. It's me. I'm shiny and great. All right. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. What, what am I... What's, what's happening right now? Why is our helmet shiny? Talents, active skills, yeah, 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 no, I get it, I get it, I understand. Aha, there's a bow, it's, maybe this is telling me that it's whoever I have selected? That's weird that it highlights this, I mean, it's not a terrible thing, mind you. Uh, but it does look like we've got ourselves a robe. Okay. And we have ourselves a slate. Or a snack, if you prefer. Probably a slink, though. And a Joska? I mean, I feel like you're going to be more of a frontliner. I don't know if we really have anything that does frontline, backline. I'm not real sure. But we will find out. All right, I guess that's fine. Oh, and we can set their skills, which I don't think we have. New guide thing. Equip characters. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. There was something for combat. A lot of stuff for combat, apparently. I think we're okay. I, I guess maybe the one of the things, initiative bar. No, I, I think I know all that stuff. All right. So, key. Insert the key. Iron key was removed from the inventory. We're about to embark on our first Why would anyone real lock this place up? There's nothing here but water. Journey. On the ceiling. And in the hallways. Find the first... I, I assume we... Oh. Oh, I saw that. That that That's scary. Locked. And we don't have the right key. Oh, looks like we're going to have to go and deal with it anyway. All right. Is he going to come walking by here? Where'd he go? I saw him. He's definitely in here somewhere. Roshan? Is that a man-sized frog ahead of us? Wearing armor? Zildek warriors. The legend is true. Ready for your first battle, friend? Ha <laughs> ha! Who wants to see a magic show? Um, alright, so I've got some, some things I can do. Uh, I have uh, Valeriana's Kiss. Uh, Emp... Empest your enemy, okay, to deal four to seven initial poison damage and two to five recurring poison damage over three turns. Also, a seventy-five percent chance to make your enemy sleep for three turns. Oh. Well, I guess I'll put you to sleep. Alright, and then we have Lightning Strike, and we have Fear. Let's see if we can't reduce the enemy's damage. Got the double Frighten on him. Uh, he missed, it looks like? Okay. 
card. Oh, that's how you get back your uh, energy. Nice. Oh. Seems the, the one lad is awoken. He, he's licking his eyeballs and stuff. It's it's a little creepy. Uh, a little tiny bit of damage coming out here. Ah, oh, that's, that's about right. Ah, we got this. Okay, we don't got this. I was wrong. There we go. I guess we deserve that. Oh, that one seems so nice. All right, fist shield. Ooh, fancy. It protects the minimal surface area, but allows for greater mobility. Okay. I will take that. Well, that's a new one. If yep. the legends are true, these were men once, transformed by the curse that sank this stronghold. Hmm. Condemned to serve King Breck until death. And I suppose this King Breck wants us dead. Him, the dragon. Does it matter who really? Dragon? Oh. Yeah, right. that dragon. Dragon. Let's Got find it. a safe place to rest and we'll talk. Stay quiet for now. We may attract more Zoldek. Or worse. Or worse. All right, but before we or worse it, I think a jo Joska. It's going to go ahead and equip the, the shield. All right, so we have offensive, which is our overall attack power, defensive, our defensive capabilities, and magic affinity. Yeah, we suck compared. But our magic affinity is higher, so there is that. Okay, now what happens if I try to also... Oh, do I just steal it from him? I do. But it do, at least does show that it's already equipped, which is good. Okay, I, I can appreciate that. I can I approve. Those are the various different inventory things that we have going on. Okay, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Well, so far, this has been pretty impressive. I, I've enjoyed myself. All right. Have fun trying to open that without the right key. I mean, I feel like somebody should have some some picking skills, Joska. That is your real name. Don't look at me. I don't have that key. Apparently, we're gonna need a lot of keys. Oh, oh, good. We have an oxygen meter. I found a key. And I thought I found something else, but apparently no. Have fun trying to open that without the right key. Is it this one? It is this one. And apparently one key, one use. Okay, there's a skeleton. Ooh, some firewood. Oh, this opened this door, too. Oh, okay, cool. Campfires can be used to regenerate characters' health and energy. Manual saving is only available while resting at the campfires. The autosaves are at key moments during your adventures as well. Okay, and I assume we have to use... our uh, resources. So we can go down. Looks like we can go up. I'm still trying to get a, a full handle on the movement. I mean, it all makes sense. I'm just doing it poorly. All right. We're, well, we're going to definitely save the game. Uh, we can rest. One piece of firewood is needed to rest at the campfire. Firewood can be a log smashing. Okay. I don't, actually don't think we need to rest. So... Cool. We're only missing, what, 4 HP between the two of us? All right. Now, the question is, do we go up or do we go down? Up seems like a watery death. Let's do it. Let's just take a moment to rest at the fire pit first. Oh, you're, you're gonna make us do Okay, I'm okay with that. It's fine. The companions took time to rest, equip themselves, and chat. Yoshka told of his true reason for being there. King Vakar is a tyrant and a bore, but he does offer a nice reward. Nine wives of his finest soldiers have been kidnapped. 
Now slaves to King Breck in this very castle. Huh. Many knights, including said nine fight soldiers, have been sent to rescue them. Guess how many have returned. That's not None. cool. None. You can tell Vakar is really desperate if he resorts to the likes of me for such things. I heard a rumor he's down to one young knight. And you know none of this. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm literally following my dreams. Yoshka listened to his new associate's Yoshka. tale with a mix of great interest and charmed disbelief. Alright, Yoshka. I like it. Let's do this thing. So a deer showed up in your dream, and it led you here? Well, I did have the dream several times. That helps. And you just walked on into a sunken castle, not knowing what to expect, because a deer in your dreams told you to come here? Yet <laughs> evil frogmen surprise you. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> When you put it that way. Alright. Are we are we weapons free? Oops. I hit the windows key. Uh are we weapons free? Oh, I went I went up a floor. As they encountered their first trial, the companions marveled at the intricate system of levers and gated pitfalls. Surely the work of a madman. It felt right at home in this cursed place. Who builds a castle with gated pitfalls in the ground? Yeah, no kidding. An ancient tactic to confine groups of prisoners and creatures to specific areas. You seem pretty familiar. You could say that. Huh. I, do, I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way or the other way. I, I guess... Since that seemed to be something that we were able to do pretty easily. Let's see what the downstairs brings. There's a fish. Can I catch the fish? No. There is treasure loot to be had. Uh, I guess I click everything. There's no take all. I am slowly drowning. Just want to point that out. Alright, let's, uh, let's go back up for a quick breath. <laughs> And back into the water. Back into the drink, my friend. Gosh darn it. I, I turn slightly too much because I'm trying to look ahead and then I back up all the time. I think stuff is a bit more noticeable than I'm thinking it might be. And I think I'm just making them worse. Okay, well, hey, you know what? We got a hat. We didn't have a hat before. That's a, a pretty good thing. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it on Yoshka. A little more than comfortable headwear. Well, I mean, there you go, buddy. You got a hat. Probably should have given you the cloak too, but eh, I'm a little greedy. I'm a little greedy, short and stuff. Sorry. Um, onward for great justice, and also probably well, other stop. things. Oh wait, whoa. Oh, I don't know that I want to pull that lever, but it doesn't look like we have a lot of choices. Uh, that's not what I wanted to that do. Hurt. I I heard the noise and turned. Yeah, that's on my fault. That's all of my fault. I thought I could step one further forward and then. But, what are you doing? Please stop doing things I'm not telling you to do. That's why I have a fear of heights. I, I, I'm, again, trying to do too many things at once. It is my own fault. I will have to learn to be a little bit less sporadic and crazy. I blame the developers and their amazing uh, sound design. Thank you. I hear stuff that's like approaching me and I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm like, oh my god. See? Hey, look at that. The one who follows a deer to certain doom actually has a brain in their head. Yeah, I did fall a couple times, but oh. Are you here to save us? Don't tell them. Surprise! Oh, there's so many of them. Calling my spells tricks is such a disservice. Uh, 
I think... Yeah, I do that. I think I do... this? Which apparently also hit the back line. So that whole sleeping thing probably didn't work very well. Here, have a croissant. Um... Oh, and I click over here. Okay. And then you bonk him. Okay, or that's that's okay. You bonk him. I guess you're going to lower the, the damage that the guy's going to do. Sure. We're going to guard to get some of our energy back. I am going to do lightning strike. I was hoping it would stun you. I did not. Is there a more noticeable way to see how I get hit other than staring over here? I'd like to, like, when we hit them, we see these big giant damage numbers coming out. Is there somewhere, like, it flashes large and I'm missing it on my screen? Because, like, I'm like, who got hit? Because I'm looking around and I'm not seeing it. So there's eight. Uh, I think that was a crit, too. Um... So I get hit for one. It's over here and it's pretty small. I mean, I suppose it makes sense. Like, we're all standing in one spot, right? Like, we, we don't have, like, a physical representation of all of our party. So it would be kind of hard to do otherwise. Uh, I, I would, I don't know, maybe make it bigger slightly? Or maybe to the side of it or something? I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't, like, hate it. I'm just slightly... It's hard to see, basically. Alright, Om Nom up. Bonka Fool. I got hit for four there. That's that's okay. And down he goes. We got some rags. Well, at least you're not naked. I mean, I, I kind of am right now. And some gold. Are you here to save us? Select and use herbalism from the quick access menu. Upgrade your characters or Could find recipes us? to get new spells and potions that can be used during exploration. Oh, and I hit G and then I can... Oh, that's cool. Except, I, I mean, I, it didn't actually tell me I had to do that, so maybe that was a mistake? I think I'm going to get a little bit more uh, defensive here with the rags. It's not going to help a lot, but it's something. Again, at least I'm not naked, like like Yoshka over here. That is a pitfall, probably. Can't seem to. Oh, there's gonna be a lever or something somewhere, probably. Well, I'm not seeing it. There it is. You're the first ones not to die fighting those frogmen. Oh, she's lovely. Thank you. That key should help you too. The way out is clear. You should be able to exit through the front. We won't forget this. I promise. Six more till riches. Come on. Sweet. We saved, uh, I guess three, ooh, key. Save the captives from the underwater terror. So we saved three of them? Y'all just sleep, ah, that looks painful and unsatisfying. Was one of them empty? Is, is that what we're uh, going with? Oh, one of them just had a chest in it. Oh, they seem upset that we're stealing their, their riches. I mean... It's not my fault, probably. Okay, so we did this. I guess we go back down to the first floor. Oh, just all the pitfalls are now just filled in. Because we used the master key, I guess. Alright, that's cool. I'm here for it. 
Uh, we could rest again, and we probably should, so I'm going to. How did this castle sink? Is it actually cursed? So they say. It's a long story. Feel free to shut me up if you just want to move on with things. I won't mind. Happily. Can't say I blame you. Anyway, before King Vakar ruled these lands, he had a rival king. His brother, King Brek. Welcome to his castle. It's lovely. Though both kings built impressive armies, their biggest war was one upmanship. Breck was constantly adding on to his castle. He even had the legendary Stonemason's Guild contribute a few times. A couple of years into their pissing match, just about two decades ago, Fokar told Breck he had managed to curse this place. And all it would take were the tears of a young maiden to submerge the castle into the lake. But what? Turning all his warriors to Zoldek as well, I presume. That's some curse. Exactly. Breck thought Vaka was bluffing, though. I mean, really, wouldn't you? So he decided to pull a bluff of his own. A peace proposal. Huh. A farce of a celebration took place at this very castle. With many from Vakar's kingdom in attendance as well. Vakar himself chose to stay home, however. A wise decision. Yeah. That party must not have ended well. Breck ordered everyone there from Vakar's kingdom head home with a message. That he had seized the kingdom's twelve most beautiful young women. To serve him as horses with his chariot. Do you think this will make them cry? Was what he instructed all who returned to Vakar to tell him. What? But sadly, Vakar had not bluffed. Wow. Breck locked the young women's faces to mouthpieces designed for mighty steeds. Well, whipped horrible. them and ordered them forward. The first tier was shed just a few steps ahead. The lake around you is now known as the Lake of Anna in the crier's name. Depending on whom you ask, the effect was immediate or took days. But you're looking at the ultimate result of it right now. What a horrible, I horrible heard the story. Innocent survived. They did. In fact, I heard Anna took the opportunity to leave the kingdom for good. Vakar is no saint when it comes to his own people either. Yeah, no kidding. Some even suggest the twelve women escaped by transforming into swans. Until they peacefully swam back to shore. Well, you didn't just make that all up on the spot, did you? Oh, please. Alas, not even I am that clever. Huh. What a what a terribly depressing and horrible story. Okay. I hope you don't think this is the beginning of some kind of legendary friendship. Soon as we get paid, I'm off. Sure. You're man. the one welcoming me to this partnership, remember? Touche. Touchy indeed. What, what about over there? There's a key over there. I could I could hang out. Ooh, now I'm wondering. Probably not, but do you think maybe I could have fallen into that area from the pitfall on the other floor? I'll have to check it out later. If we don't end up in that place, that's going to be what I end up doing. All right, ambushing the Sklatans. Your loot better be worth this. They can't sleep. All right, I am going to buff, buff, buff it up. Now I'm gonna hit them with some lightning. And we are gonna eat some arrows. They are tasty. Well, only one of them is. All right. That's not a good start. Okay, missed. Missed. I hit. Ha! Ah, missed again. Man, we're terrible at this. We're really, really bad. Um. I guess we're taunting. Okay, I took one point to Odamage. Another miss. And uh, Yoshka took um, a little bit more. Come on, buddy. 80%. You can do this. I believe in you. I also believe in lightning. Oh, I didn't hit everybody? Oh, le boo. All right. Yay. How rude of me. I never caught your name. Uh, let's go with you. We're definitely going to be doing some uh, defensive uh, maneuverages. 
get our stamina back or our energy back as they lob a missile after missile at us. Ooh, they crit me for two. Yoshka, you must hit the target, yes. Oh, we're not doing great against the uh, Sklatans, to be fair. The Skellymen are kind of Leoning us, just a little bit. Two points of damage, two points of damage. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and have a cross oh. I'm gonna bonk you. Uh, I'm gonna take you out. And then I'm gonna hit you once. He's still getting slapped. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rest it up. We're gonna go ahead and rest it up as well. Ooh, we counterattacked. What? Huh. Ooh, double swing. Oh, it's on now. All right. Oh, brutal. All right. Nothing quite like a real battle. Our energy. Hmm. We got more rags, neither comfortable nor particularly effective in uh, deflecting attacks. True. We also got some sandals are a little bit better because no one ever really needed to protect their whole foot, do they? That's fair. Uh, you can have that. I'll take the rags, I guess. It gives me 1% something. Cumbrance, maybe? I'm not, I'm not entirely certain. Uh, what is, what is the hat? What is this helmet? Physical resistance. That's what it gives me. All right. Skeletons that fight like men. Maybe even better than men. Maybe even better than men. You know what? I, th I think we can get lower. I don't think we have to go for it just yet. Oh, we got a good old nice double swing out there. There it is. We got a taunt. Okay, I'm here for it. Let's go ahead and energy up a little. I'm gonna hit them with. Oh, they're gonna be, of course, resistant, leap, and fear, probably, right? I probably even said that. I'm just. No, it just says poison immune. Okay, can't sleep. Okay. Oh, now you're taunting. Okay. This ain't even my whole night. Okay, that hurt a little bit. So we take you down. That one seems so nice. And then we wake it, wake you up a little bit with with a little bit of the old. How's it going? Farewell. Hey, we both leveled, and we got a leather hat. Genuine fox hide. I've never seen such advanced necromancy at play. Fallen knights, perhaps? You have reached level 2. Maximum HP increases with each new level gained, and skills and spells will be slightly stronger. Besides this, you can spend a talent point and three attributes on any characters who have gained a level. Sweet. That's fantastic. All right. Um, right, we have a new hat. I'm going to take the comfy hat. I'm going to give uh, Yoshka the leather hat. And then we're going to go here. These are talent points. Spend talent points on actively prompted unique skills or on passive talent bonuses okay uh, select one skill or bonus per level from three different branches and advance them as you play as you unlock the locked skills interesting I tend to shy away from the uh 
I can redistribute already. I tend to shy away from like fire and stuff like that, so it's uh And I do tend to go toward ice as well, so yeah, it's quite interesting. Alright. Wisdom plus three. Lightning damage bonus is increased by ten percent and intelligence up. I think I'm gonna increase the lightning damage bonus. I wanna see what these two Ooh, these are just a uh, plus one to all stats. Ah, oh, not bad. All right, Yoshka, what do you what do you got for me? Oh, there is stealth, and then there's gambler. You could do some crazy stuff, but right now you're all about alchemy. Hmm. Hide in shadows will be untargetable for two turns. You also get a fifteen percent melee hit chance and critical hit chance. Uh, bonus for your first attack. Attacking the enemy makes you targetable. So when you pop out, you become targetable. Alright. I mean, that becomes more useful later. I don't feel like it becomes incredibly useful right now. Shoot quickly to deal 5 to 11 physical damage plus weapon damage with a 50% chance for an extra attack. That's easy shot. And then somersault. Deal 7 to 14 physical damage, weapon damage, plus weapon damage, and decrease its defense. And block chance by 30%. There's a 50% chance for you to suffer the skill's effect too. Oh. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I want from this. It, some interesting things, I, I, I guess. All right, well, we're just gonna go this way, route. I, oh, more damage. Sure. Combustion, create a deadly cloud to deal four to seven poison damage to your enemy, and then fire it up with proper materials to deal two to six damage over two turns. Huh, weird. Alright, then we go over here and we get attribute points. Each time you level up, you can spend three attribute points between your five attributes freely. You can see how these uh, changes affect a character's secondary stats. Alright. So we see this is health, energy, initiative, hit rating, melee. This is hit rating ranged, critical chance, counterattack chance, extra attack chance, energy, and evasion. Not necessarily a bad thing. Then we have high int, which is energy initiative. Okay. Wisdom, just a bunch of resistances plus a little bit of energy. And then vigor, health, energy, and defense. Some physical and poison resist. I'm going to do one vigor. I'm going to do one int. I'm going to do one agility for now. That's my play. We'll see if it is not terrible. It might be, but that's what I'm doing. All right, Yoshka, what do, we, what do we got for you, buddy? You're all about the agility. I think we're going to do agility and vigor and strength. I think that is those are your obvious attributes, and we're going to run with it. Okay. That seems fine. We managed to double ambush the, the Skeletons, which is nice. I assume there's probably some sort of treasure loot. Oh, destroy that. It gave us firewood. Which we cannot use in that bonfire, interestingly enough. We came in from there. And I went immediately after the nasty bad guys. Okay. It seems like we did everything that we could here. Oh. Hang wait. Okay. Let's see what this says. Wait. Who locks a door with weights? Three are needed. I have one. Where have I not checked? The southern corridor, the western tower... They must be there after King Breck's grand celebration. I shall explore those areas. It will be a day to remember. Ooh. 
Well... Aha! Alright, we're gonna get into probably one more battle and then we're gonna be looking for our eventual end. Oh, we're, we're fully uh, recovered. Nice. Uh, did that happen due to being leveled up or something else? I don't know. That was disappointing. Let's try this again. Also disappointing. Alright. And taunting it up, sure. Not not great. Our sling wasn't so terrible. Oh, I guess it's about the same, right? does worse on the front look. Okay, that makes sense. He blocked. I don't approve of that at all. You fool. There it is. Alright. stayed home. First sclatin down. Second sclatin. About to get sclatinized. What? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Eh. Okay, a little counterattack play there. It's unfortunate. Only a single miss. Time to heal up our, our boy, our main mans, as it were. Alright, down he goes. Are we sure that the archery does better it's pretty much identical and we do a little bit more with the physical attack but might as well do physical attack here two to five two to five it's pretty much the same ah, I don't know physically attacking a ranged character with like a melee feels better than attacking them with a ranged to some extent outranging a ranged character does feel pretty good too though to be, to be fair. Alright, gonna get some of our energy back and take him down. There Nothing it is. Quite like a real battle. About the best outcome I think we could have hoped for there. We got some linen shoes. The shoemaker worked very hard on these, but he sure never intended for them in battle. Well, I mean, sometimes you just gots to make do. Alright, so I'm wearing these, which are just not very useful. These are... I get less physical resistance, but I get a little bit of armor. So there's some give and take. This is a little bit better for, for both, somehow. Fine. Oh, there's more... Uh oh Uh... uh... Uh, 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 uh... Uh, uh. I outran him. Alright, I am going to head back up. I actually was hoping that I could get the uh, the autosave to kick in. It seems I am unable to do so. There is, there is some treasure in this room. But that's okay. I think if I... If I say, yeah, I save and quit. So from wherever we're at in the journey. So we're going to break it off right here in the next episode. We continue fighting skelly boys and other things in this sunken tower. And uh, hopefully success continues to find us as we continue to push forward. Um, once again, a big shout out and thank you to Zen Studios for hooking me up with the code for this, especially so long after the game released. It is truly appreciated. I am very, very grateful. Thank you so much. I'm having a blast. I'm loving playing it. Can't wait to play some more. Till the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.